update 42 with a new 2TC. This time around, we're going to be doing it with Azili and Spirit of the Forest. I'll explain later as to why this particular 2TC at the moment is possible. First and foremost, place it down our voodoo magic monkey of, well, this video, and that's going to be Azili. Actually, rather than explain it later, I'm just going to explain it right now. Azili has been given a nice change in update 42, where when Azili gets to level 16, their main attack removes the camo property from DDTs. Now you probably think to yourself, well, that doesn't seem like too much of a buff. I mean, it's a nice thing, but is it groundbreaking or anything like that? No, 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 no. There's something else in which has been put into the game as a bug that's been discovered. And that is, it also removes the fortified status off of DDTs. Also alongside that as well, MOABs. Not like BFBs and ZMGs and God forsaken the bad, but MOABs and DDTs unintentionally have been given the feature by Azili where if Azili attacks them, alongside having the ability to remove a camo off of DDTs, it also removes the Fortified off of DDTs. And you can possibly think out loud of how broken that is. We're going to go up to Druid of the Jungles with our Druid here. And then we're going to just sit with the rest of our money because we're going to need to get a ZD up to level... S uh, level 8 actually, so that Azili's attacks do far more damage against Mild Class Balloons. And we need that in order to get through round 40. Round 26, the introduction of purple balloons. How are we going to... No, 25 was the introduction of purple balloons and Druid of the Jungle just, just dealt with all of them. <laughs> oh gosh, today has been a long day. I've been trying out a new map, Castle Revenge, and I honestly can't get my head around it, honestly. So if you're looking for a guide on um, Castle Revenge, then I would say my number one advice is to resort to another balloons tuber in order to get that like uh, advice go, getting and going if you want to get a blackboard of a map because I cannot for the life of me fathom out how to even remotely come close to challenging that map. I say this with the knowledge of knowing that there are going to be people out there who's going to say um actually it's just so easy if you use your brain so if you were to just use your brain then you would be able to fathom that one out. The ZD camo solo for the majority of this game is not going to be the best feeling of the world, honestly, because Azili is not what you would call the best attacker in the game. And I'll say she's probably like the bottom 20% when it comes to reliable attackers against balloons. Just because her attacks are quite transfixed and randomized at times, depending on where a balloon is at any given point in time. Like, okay, this cursor doesn't matter at all, so we're just going to put in water there. Sacrificial totems do not exist in chimps. Round 39. So, on this round, we're going to get ourselves... At some point, at the end of round 39, actually, the means of progressing Zili up to level 8, which means we can actually pop the Moa, because this by itself, even with Jungle Bounty, won't be able to do the job. Jungle's Bounty, and while we're at it, Heart of the Thunder as well. We need that extra attack added on, and uh, yeah, <laughs> camo rainbows. Very interesting to say the least, and if you put a ZD in the wrong spot, uh, they're going to just travel down southwards, and that's not a good sign. Okay, camo purples, how's that going to fare? Too many good because of the fact that we can actually use the Heartstopper to be able to pop purple balloons. Sorry, in order for a ZD to pop camo <laughs> purple balloon. <laughs> or just purple balloon. Oh no. Oh, for goodness sakes. Not these pests. Just look at this mess. We've got to try and fathom out. Uh, elitists always say that everything is so easy. Even a ZD camo solo round 47. Someone was trying to explain to me how a ZD camo solo works on this round. And I swear it's like a customer trying to explain to me a, uh, the fact that they want tobacco. But it's like they don't explain what tobacco brand that they want. And they're like, well, how could you not know what I'm talking about? So you may as well be like, no, you're not getting anywhere f closer to what I need in order to help you. 
And in this case, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, 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 no. The idea with Azili Camo Solo is number one, get Azili to level nine. But number two, what you really need to do is stagger these camo pinks out so that you're not trying to get so that they're clumped together too much by the time we go down here. Otherwise, what's going to end up happening is that Azili won't be able to attack certain camo pinks because, well, they're too close to the one in which Azili just attacked and therefore the other one will just go flying off to the exit. Oh, that was another good attempt as well. No, they're good. They're too clumped together at the end there. No, that was another good one. Even if those ones succeed in being popped, this lot over here would knock me out. That was really good, actually, as an attempt. If it wasn't for that one, we might have been able to do it because of how spaced out these ones are. But then again, those two aren't that spaced out, so no. If they were closer, then the splash, the splash radius would be able to get them. No! If those two weren't together there, that would have been done. That would have, that would have done it! I lost my train of thought and how to speak, honestly. No, they're too clumped up together. No, they're too clumped up together again. No, but I knew one of those would have gotten through. That last one would have been easy. No, they're... It's those last few. Why are they always clumped together like that? No, they're clumped up together again. No, they're too clumped up together again. And the rest back here are the same as well. Oh, first battle. Round 47 of all rounds. Clumped up. Yeah, the rest of those would have been it. But nope, not for me. Nope, those ones. Ugh, again with that. Why can't you just be a little bit more responsive? Splash. Nope, there's always again with being in groups of two. Nope. Oh, gosh, down. It was just that last one there that sneaked through. Well, second last one, because this would have been terminated. Nope. Grouped together. You need to prevent that grouping together. Nope. Oh, it's always these last few. <laughs> it's always these last few. That one at the back there would have been easy. Nope. They're grouped together again. Nope. These grouped ones again. No. For goodness sakes. There's just too many of these camo pinks. Nope. They're too grouped together again. No, group together again. Nice. This is why I say it to myself that I'm not a good player at this game. No, group together. They're always grouped together. Azili, no, group together. <sighs> why are they always doing that? I saw one of them, one of them just lunges forward to replace the placement of where their fallen comrade was. No, not happening in this nice. lifetime. No, this is a waste of time. Embrace. I wish Azili's splash attacks would just linger around for just a little bit longer until their pierce expires. Rather than just be an instantaneous flash that appears and disappears a millisecond later. But I suppose, like with anything voodoo related, it's going to come with side effects. Or consequences. Or both. A lot of that, actually. This is what you need to avoid doing. Having too many pink balloons clumped up because Azili attacks far too slowly. It's all about pattern recognition. Knowing their patterns and how to respond to that. Knowing exactly when to change your targeting so that you're always optimal. And avoiding stuff like this. You dumbass. How could you ever do that among my perfectionist ranks expectations of you? Oh, for goodness sake. Shut up to those who are elitists. No, they're clumped up together. Embrace. I'm sick of this. This is 38 minutes into this recording. It's been one hour since I started recording. You expect me to get anywhere else by now other than not round 47? Well, you are in bad luck because we are still here and still failing. No, they're too close together again. 
I can't seem to attack for them to stagger them out. Hey, look, there's a few left there. There's a few left there, but I can't attack them all because Azili sucks. Oh, again, with it just being one balloon that's buggering things up. Another scenario where it's just one balloon that's screwing everything up. Embrace the to a person who fathoms out a Zili camo round 47, I hope you're having a lovely day where you are, because I sure am not. Embrace the Another scenario where it's just one balloon getting through you know what would make heart stopper really cool is if it temporarily disabled the camo status of balloons so that you know you could actually do something with heart stopper after round 100 you know so that other towers can attack camo balloons without needing some kind of decamification or Camo detection. What Zili is rather than crap is that she's very specialist. She's very good in certain situations, but in every other situation, another tower is a far better option than a Zili. Another thing that's really annoying, it's really niche about this map, is that the UI is blocking the left side of a map. So I can't physically see whereabouts of the nearest most pink balloons are until they're very close to the end of the map. I reckon Ninja Kiri made this map, oh, this round perfectly so that you cannot utilize a Zili on this round unless you're an absolute sweat lord. Okay, I've been stuck in this round for one and a half hours now. I'm, I'm bloody giving up, okay? I'm giving up and I don't care what people have to say about that. So what I'd like to show to you is the bug that is present in update 42 when it comes to Azili herself. So we're gonna to go to Sandbox and I'm gonna to demonstrate to you what Azili can do in the later rounds. So we're gonna get ourselves our Azili up here. We're gonna put it all the way up to level 20 because obviously that is the extent of her power. And then we're gonna place down our Spirit for Forest over here. We're just gonna wait for it to get all of its vines up and then I'm going to show to you what it can do, okay? Because this 2TC, it can work. It's just the pan the, sorry, the pink camo balloons on round 47 are nigh on impossible to deal with. I'm not going to be like, well, anybody is able to do that, our hackers. No, because it's obviously possible to do, but it's finding the perfect targeting priority pattern in order to actually get that round down. Or maybe it's the, the position of Azili herself. So I'm like, what do I do from here in order to actually get to that particular scenario? Okay, so let's go with round 95 here. And obviously this part here is quite easy. So we're going to put you onto Strong. So both Azili and the Spirit Forest are dealing damage to these DETs. Okay, so look at these... Um, so yeah, look at these fortified Moabs here. See how they're being defortified. That is the bug that's present here. Look at look at the <laughs> look at these. Like they're being defortified here. The fortified status is being removed. Okay, so let's go with round ninety eight. Let's go with this round here, and we're gonna see on how. Okay, we're going to put you on, on close, actually. So, we're gradually taking damage from the, um, the wonderful uh, Zeli and also the Fawns as well. And as you can see, a lot of these... Be so, a lot of these Moabs are being defortified. That is so powerful, but also as well a bug. Okay, so what about the most important round of the game? Round 99. How does this round fit if I can actually click play properly? Well, if we put a ZD on strong, it means that the ZD will only target DDTs in this premise. Look at that. Because of the removal of the camo property off of um, DDTs in the newest update of round 42. So, level 42. <laughs> update 42. Uh, the 40s, man. It means that a ZD, at right now in the game, 
can strip away fortified properties off of DDTs, where it's only meant to remove the, the camo property off of DDTs. It only works when Azili gets to level 16, by the way, but I'm pretty sure this is something that's going to quickly be patched out of the game. Not to remove camo from DDTs, but remove the fortified layer off of Moabs and uh, DDTs. It doesn't work for BFBs and ZMGs and BADs. Okay, so what about round 100? Well, we know what the cure to this round is, and it's using the Zili's Moab Hex ability. So round 100, when you get to it with a Zili, is just easy peasy. Because the Zili just crushes the bad on its own. Okay, so what about... I don't know. <laughs> what about another absurd round in the game? What about 138? Let's see what we can do on this round in particular. Probably not as well because of Spirit of the Forest not doing enough damage. But it's like, if you are given... Hold on. I've got another idea here. Got another idea. Go back to one, please. Got another idea. What about just set to round one? We're going to send out 900 and... Hmm, actually. We're going to send out... Yeah, we're going to send about 99 Fortify DDTs here. They're going to be one-spaced. So let's see what we can do here. Um, oh, I... Space is 99. Okay, there we go. That's much better. I think. So, what can a ZD do here? Let's see. Remove the fortified status off of them. I know this is like round one in which their speed is at the slowest, but that just goes to show you that this bug right now is stupidly powerful. So, that, folks, is my attempt at the 2TC with a ZD and Spur of Forest. As you can see, it can be done. It's just. Round 47, for goodness sakes. I just I just can't fathom that round out. So if you're able to fathom that round out, then good on you. Uh, just know that I'm not as good at this game as you are. So therefore, just treat this with a bit of a, of a lesson to not be an, an annoying annoying human being by, um, by just plaguing me in the comments saying how stupid I am at the game here. Because obviously this is meant to be a stupidly micro-intensive strategy here. And it's just not for everyone, but there are elitists out there who think that anybody could do this if they have enough brain cells. And because of the fact they don't have enough brain cells, therefore they cannot do it. I think that anybody could be able to do this if there is enough um, enough of a lesson taught out by those who discover the strategy. But no, elitists keep things to themselves because they are elitists and elitists are the most selfish of people on the planet. Thank, well, in this community anyways. Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves, everybody.